The National Geographic limited series, A Small Light, tells the story of Meep Geese, one of the people who helped to hide Anne Frank, her family, and several other Dutch Jews during World War II. Meep was an employee of Anne Frank's father, Otto Frank, and when the Nazis occupied the Netherlands, Otto asked Meep if she would help to hide his family. It's true that without hesitation, she said yes. The family hid in a secret annex in the back of Otto Frank's business in Amsterdam. The series does a solid job at depicting the stress that Meep was under as she tries to keep Otto Frank's office running and supply the Frank family and the others in hiding with food and at the same time maintaining her marriage with her husband Jan who has joined the Dutch resistance. However, there are certain elements of this series that have raised red flags when it comes to historical accuracy. For instance, Meep's husband Jan Gies' role in the resistance is heavily fictionalized in the series simply because the real Jan Gies never divulged much about what he did in the resistance. But perhaps the biggest question regarding the historical accuracy of this series revolves around Meep's foster family who raised her in Amsterdam. During an early scene in the series, when she's still living with her foster family, the Neuenbergs, the parents suggest that she marry her brother Cass. Both Cass and Meep are shocked by the idea, and we soon learn that part of the reason is because Cass is a gay man. Of course, Mr. and Mrs. Neuenberg don't know this, but we quickly learn that Cass has confided his secret in Meep. Now, if you're familiar with Anne Frank's story, including the role of Meep Geese and her husband Jan, you're probably asking yourself, I never heard anything about Meep Geese having a gay brother. Well, that's because this part of the story is entirely fictional. While researching the A Small Light true story, we discovered that one of the writers on the series, Tony Phelan, commented on this during an interview with Radio Times. Phelan said, and I quote, And then we took some liberties in the character of Cass, her brother. We know that Meep had five foster brothers. Statistically, probably one of them was gay. But deciding to make Cass gay allowed us into the world of the Café Manger and the fact that the queer community in the Netherlands was very active in the Dutch resistance. So in other words, Meep's brother Cass in the series is entirely made up. Now the screenwriter attempts to justify including that character by saying that if Meep had five foster brothers, then statistically, probably one of them was gay. Now what he seems to be alluding to there is a 2021 Gallup poll that found that approximately one in five young adults in America of Generation Z identified as LGBT. Now this poll is from 2021, and he's saying that this would have been the case in the late 1930s, early 1940s, which is arguably highly inaccurate. That's not to mention that the overwhelming majority of those surveyed in the 2021 Gallup poll identified as bisexual, not gay or lesbian. Having said that, it is true that the queer community in the Netherlands was very active in the Dutch resistance. One reason for this, as emphasized in the series, is that homosexuality was outlawed during the Nazi occupation of the Netherlands. Their involvement in the resistance is certainly a story worth telling, but we found no evidence that Jan Gies ever had any connection to them in real life during his time in the resistance. This is one reason why we get the disclaimer before every episode that certain incidents, locations, and characters have been created or altered for dramatic purposes. Now, from an historical accuracy standpoint, all of this begs the question, are the filmmakers using too much fiction to piggyback a certain social agenda onto the historical account of Meep Geese? This includes the character of Cass, as well as the fictionalization of Jan Geese's role in the resistance. This is certainly something that Hollywood movies and TV series seem to be doing more and more. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you want to learn more about the A Small Light true story and the historical accuracy of the series, check out our article over on historyvershollywood.com that's linked in the description below. Anchors away, my friends.